Nicole, the math lady, and today we're talking about problems about separating. Again, we're talking about word problems, and as I've said before, I've kind of heard from some of the students that they don't love word problems, but that is okay. I have a surefire method that's going to help you attack word problems, so let's get started looking at these problems about separating. Here's my first example. Justin had 32 toys in the playroom. He picked up 18 toys. Now 14 toys are left. So, what do we call this? Well, what's happening? There was a certain amount in the beginning. So I'm going to call that the beginning amount. And then, thank goodness, he picked up 18 of them. So some of them went away. Some went away. And now you can see that there are 14 toys left or there's a certain amount that remains. So we can say what remains or what is left. We call this a subtraction pattern because we had a certain amount, we subtracted some, and now we have a total. So a subtraction pattern. Okay, let me give you a few examples of how to do word problems with subtraction patterns. Let's review our device that we use to help us attack word problems. Please eat sugar cookies right, Larry, because he's eating those cookies the wrong way. Let's take a look at our first problem. My box had 159 pieces of popcorn. I shared with my friends, now there's 47 pieces of popcorn left. How many pieces did we eat? Let's go ahead and apply our surefire method. P, P is for pattern. So what's the pattern here? I had a certain amount of popcorn, we ate some, and now we have a certain amount left. That sounds like a subtraction pattern, right? Beginning amount minus some went away, and now we have what remains. So there is a subtraction pattern. Put it right here, subtraction, I can't fit it. Ah! <laughs> you get the idea, subtraction pattern. Now let's do E, stands for equation. What's the equation? Well, what was our beginning amount? We had 159 pieces of popcorn. And we ate, uh, let's see, I shared it with my friends. We don't know how much we ate. There's a big question mark there. So we're gonna call that P for popcorn. And then we have a total, what remains is 47 pieces of popcorn. That is our equation. Now we move on to sugar cookies, which is solve and check. So we're going to solve this and then check our answer. 159 minus P, well, you know a missing number in subtraction means we need to look close and see what's missing. It looks like our subtrahend is missing. When a subtrahend is missing, we subtract to find the answer. Let's do it. 159 minus 47, and we have 112. So I'm going to say P is 112, but I'm going to check my answer by putting it back in. I'm going to do 159 minus 112. And look at that. I get 47, which means it checks out okay. And lastly, we review and label. So we look at our problem. Does it make sense if I had 159, then we ate about 112, but I would have 47 left? That makes sense. And we label, we have 112 pieces of popcorn. That's our label. Pieces of popcorn. Wonderful. Please eat sugar cookies right. Larry gives you that structure to know how to solve it. Let's try another one. The third graders brought in 568 cans of food to donate. They packed up 264 for food pantry number one. How much is left for food pantry number two? Let's go ahead and apply this. The P, please, stands for pattern. What is the pattern? They brought in a certain amount of food cans. They packed up some of them, so some of them went away. And they want to know what is left, what remains. That sounds like a subtraction pattern. Nice. Okay, let's go to E, equation. So let's fill it in with numbers. Well, there were 568 cans to start. They packed up how many? 264 cans. 
and we want to know what remains. We don't know, so I'm going to call that a C. That's our equation. Now, sugar cookies, solve and check. So, 568 minus 264, that's just doing our straight subtraction. And we get 304 equals C. I want to check this, of course. So, to check a subtraction problem, we're going to add up 304 plus 264. Gives me 568, which is where I started, so it checks out okay. Right, Larry. We're going to review. Does it make sense that if we started with 568, we packed up 264, that we'd have about 304 left? That sounds right. That's good. It would be crazy if we had like 1,000 left, wouldn't it? That's right. And what is our label? Our label, they packed up cans of food. So 304 cans of food is our answer. Wonderful. Not so bad, huh? Word problems are looking like, what? Like we got this, okay? So I hope you got that. Make sure you try some practice problems and make sure you understand how to really do problems about separating. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.